Hello everyone, I'm Bei Chen Zhang. I'm happy to present our work, Deep Labeling at What's Real Active Learning. Now, deep learning models still rely on large-scale data set. The problem is it's time-consuming and expensive to label a data set. Our work attempts to solve this problem by active learning method. The goal of active learning is to select as few samples to be labeled as possible for maximizing training performance. It iteratively selects samples from unlabeled pool and annotates them. There are two kinds of available information in active learning. One is annotation information, that is the annotate label. The other one is state information, that indicates whether a sample is labeled or not. Our motivations are based on them. Firstly, labeled images can influence the uncertainty, but the binary label cannot reflect this. For example, similar labeled sample relegates the unlabeled sample's importance. And if no similar samples, its importance will be higher. Secondly, we attempt to facilitate both the two kinds of information for active learning. Thus, we design a state labeling at once your active learning model. We build a reconstructor and a target learner to obtain a unified representation and we introduce adverse real learning with a state relabeling model. This is the architecture of our model. The model encodes the images into two latent spaces, one for reconstructing the images and the other for predicting the labels to integrate both visual and annotation information, by which we obtain the unified representation embedded with the annotation and the viewer information is more representative and uh, distinguishable. Then we introduce a what's real learning and build an online uncertainty indicator for state relabeling. We build a discriminator predicting the state label based on representation. And to relabel the unlabeled sample with a more accurate state label, we design the indicator to calculate the uncertainty score based on the probability vector. The calculation can be formulated as this function. The two properties of our uncertainty function make sure that it has a good response to the sample's informativeness. Then, it relabels the unlabeled sample with this score and produces state loss. The Advanced real learning helps the model to distinguish the importance and select informative samples, and the indicator relabels the unlabeled samples with more suitable importance. We evaluate the performance on image classification and uh, semantic segmentation tasks. For classification, we test on CIFA and Caltech 101 datasets. For segmentation, we test on CTSKIF's dataset. The results show that on these tasks, our model achieves a better performance. Then, we compare our uncertainty function with three popular uncertainty scores, entropy, variation ratio, and standard deviation. From the result, we can observe that for entropy, the uncertainty scores at the last two lines is illogical, and so on with variation ratio. But our function can provide a reasonable uncertainty score, and at the first and third line, our function is also more suitable than standard deviations score. We also conduct ablation study to analyze the target learner and the indicator by eliminating the two modules. The result on CIFAR dataset shows that either the two parts contributes to our active learning model and they achieve 1.4% improvement for active learning. Thank you.